In today's video, Simon poses for a picture, I hoover my bench, and Al McNeese says a funny word. Yeah, roof tiles. Hey everyone, Paul ISM, welcome to another At The Bench update. It's been the like two months since I've done a bench update. This is going to be a long one because I have loads to go through. And I mean a ton of stuff. I've got three builds, loads of purchases, um, updates, sad news. Um, yes, so I get a cup of tea, value you a coffee, put your feet up and uh, sit back and relax and watch this one. So, like I said, last update was the 29th of January, my proper bench update. I've finished three kits since then. Um, and we're going to go through those first and get them out of the way. So, first up was the AMT uh, Dodge Super B. Uh, very kindly sold to me by Richard Thomas. Been after one of these for a while. Finally got my hands on one. And uh, glad to get that one uh, in the stash. And I started straight away. A little bit of clarity with some of the decals. I had to mask off and paint the white stripe on the back. Alan Parker very kindly printed me the Super B logo for the back. And uh, even more of a clarity with bare metal foil, which I refuse to use from now on. Uh, which uh, wouldn't stick to the paintwork and damaged some of the paint as well with my ham-fisted buffoonness. So I had to be resprayed, had to order more paint, took a bit longer than I wanted. But overall, the kit came out okay. It's not a great kit, it's okay. Twisted chassis, twisted body, got it to sit okay eventually, and I'm happy with how it looks because uh, it's the colour I envisaged it looking. So, primed in Tamiya, I think it was white primer, sprayed in Gravity Spain, crazy plum, well, plum crazy purple. Um, we did, we tried to bear metal for the windows, no chance, so we left those, cleared it in Gravity 2K clear. When that was done, we flattened and polished it all the UMP polish system. Masked off and sprayed the windows in Mr. Hobby Super Metallic Chrome, which looked absolutely fantastic. Interior was flocked. Uh, all the kick chrome I uh, dull-coated to give it a less toy-like appeal, uh, look rather. And uh, overall, it came out really good. Really happy with the overall finish. Uh, it's a great-looking car. It's right there in my display case. You can't see it, but it is there. Uh, and just a kit I wanted for quite some time, got a hold of and built. Very happy with it. AMT kits aren't the best, but I've built worse kits from other manufacturers on this one, so not too bad at all. Next up, I started uh, the Fujimi 24 scale Mercedes SLS AMG GT3. It is a GT3. Um, and did this in the Russian, it was poor timing by me, the Russian Viati racing team. Uh, obviously, a current world event going on. Not the uh, most suitable of subjects to pick, but I started this way before that conflict started. It was just unfortunate that I picked that team. The Fujimi kit's a very, very simple kit. Now, this only took me just over a week. I think it's about nine days, if even that, to build. Might have even been that. It might have been a week. Um, I built it before. I knew it was a good kit, but I think I forgot how simple it was. And strangely, rather than being overwhelmed, it was underwhelmed what I had to do. So it was very, very quick, very simple. Great racing 43 decals that went down absolutely perfect. I use Zero Paints, Viati, Yellowy Green, whatever you want to call it. That went down, no problems. Uh, Gravity 2K, clear coat, awesome as always. Uh, Flat and polished UMP polish system. Clear coat came out really well. Switched to a 0.2mm needle for the clear coats lately, and it's definitely working a little bit better. Uh, it gives a bit more control over everything. Uh, and that came out nice. Um, not too bad at all. Like I said, racing 43 decals, fantastic. Various LP and TS paint used throughout. Pretty simple car. The interior, you cannot see the, nearly any of that throughout the vehicle at all through the windows. So I didn't spend a lot of time on that. I actually put decals on the seat. Uh, I shouldn't have, I know. But you'd spend an hour making belts to not really be able to see them. And that's a real shame in my opinion. Um, so I kind of cheaped out and put them in. But kit came out well. Very striking looking car. We carbon the rear spoiler. That looked really good. Um, just unfortunate of the subject I chose at the time. 
Sadly, last month, uh, the beginning of the month, we found out our friend uh, Gary Pashley passed away. Um, if you don't know Gary, he was a big part of the Hangouts for a couple of years, at least. Um, big character, completely inappropriate humour, uh, wicked sense of humour, unbelievably knowledgeable about everything, really, especially F-15s and cars. Uh, and we found out suddenly he passed away. Um, and yeah, I think it kind of hit that group hard. A little bit of a reality check of our own mortality, in a way. Uh, it was his funeral yesterday, which most of us watched via a live link on uh, the internet. And it was a good um, send-off for him. Uh, ISM got mentioned as a group, uh, the Hangouts and what have you. So that was good to see. Uh, I just hope in some way we added a bit to um, his life, I suppose, is the word I'm looking for. Um he was good company, he was funny, really funny guy, completely inappropriate. If you watch the live streams and the chat and when he was with us, uh, he was a grumpy looking bugger and he did say the most inappropriate things, which were hilarious at times, uh, and he will be sadly missed. So, F-15s were his favourite aircraft, so we dedicated a group build in his honour. It's still ongoing, it's got no end date really at all, he can take part. So I chose the Rital Hobby 172 F-15E. I bought some decals uh, from Two Bobs for it for 494 Squadron, and I did the uh, Firebird um, nose art because Gary loved Pontiac Firebirds as well. It's quite a fitting tribute to it. Um, kit went together great. Few fit issues here and there, um, but it went together overall not too bad at all. Uh, primed in uh, Tammy Gray Primer. Painted it in Mr. Colour C305 36118 FS Colour. Uh, Fader and mop the paintwork, give it a power line wash. Um, gave it a matte coat, put some oil rendering on it. And uh, it came out okay. Used some different colour metallics on the uh, exhaust burners and the heat shielding. Uh, and overall, I think it came out right. Um, it's a fitting tribute to Gary. It's there. I didn't say fire to it. I was tempted to on the day of his funeral. as kind of an honour thing to do, but... I think, to be honest, I'm going to hang it so it's just there. See the little gap? I'm going to hang it so it's just there. So it's in shot of the videos, and it's always up there as a bit of a reminder. So I think I am. It's sitting here. It's out at the moment. I've got nowhere to put it. That's the problem. I mean, even in 72, they're still bloody big. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's going to hang up there. I'm going to put some fishing line up. We'll hang it from the ceiling, and it can be a fitting tribute to Gary um, for the foreseeable future. Need to have a chat about this in a bit. I'm not going to spoil this bit without the dedication to Gary, but we need to have a chat about aircraft later. So, yes, sadly, um, it's a shame to see Gary go. It really, really is. But we've all got good memories of him. Some of the completely, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, yeah, inappropriate comments he made <laughs> several times. Uh, but he's going to be missed out the hangouts. And obviously, we're building his favourite aircraft. Loads of us questions for the build. and. Um, no one to answer for us really so a bit of a shame really what like i can say what it did do to the group i think it shook a few of us up um we had a meet up about a month before uh myself luke uh dan scattergood and alan parker is we tried to rip a few more of the lads in together and we did um about oh, a couple of weeks ago is it now um and we met up at tgi fridays in stoke on trent again fantastic meal great laugh spent a few hours there um Simon came down from Essex. I think that's where Simon lives. Dan Crow came down from Bristol. Luke Hall came up from uh, Swansea. Um, and it was just a good, a good laugh. We had a good time there. So on the picture there, you can see Dan Scattergood on the left, uh, Alan Parker ahead of him, uh, Luke Ward ahead of Alan. On the right hand side of the back, with a fabulous beard, is Mr. Dan Croak. In between him and me is si uh, Simon Shorey with his eyes shut. And there's myself there as well. So we had a good laugh, good time. Luke had a bit of a calamity with his bike, but thankfully he got home. Thanks to Dan Croke for following him home. And for Alan Parker nearly killing himself, pushed off in the bike as well. So it was a good meal, very good meal. Uh, and uh, hopefully we can do it pretty soon again, because it was good to meet up with the lads. And uh, yes, I think we need to do this more. I said this the day that Gary died, that, you know, don't put off tomorrow what you can do today i know it sounds odd that but tomorrow never comes you put things off today it never ever comes so don't put off tomorrow what you can do today so if there's a kit you want to build build it if there's people you need to see somebody you need to say sorry to anything like that just go and do it life's too short 
Uh, things like this do bring uh, stuff to the forefront. And uh, yes, it can bring your own mortality into uh, retrospect. Okay, in progress, I have the Hobby Design 24 scale Porsche 911 Singer Porsche I bought. Uh, saw this kit, had to buy, did a review on the channel. Uh, saw it in Ugri Metallic, so I bought that paint as well. Here it is. It's a paint not to touch up pen. They're a thinned, sprays perfectly. We've used this before on like the Escort Cosworth, Sierra Cosworth, the R32 12 scale Skyline, and they came out really well. Uh, I'll look it over there because I'm cheating because I've got the pictures up so I can see what I'm doing. So I did a few test spoons. It looked best over a white prime. I think it showed its colour properly. Um, prepped, primed and painted the Porsche uh, the last couple of days. Colour looks great. It looks a bit odd in these pictures. The metallics don't look like that at all. You'll see it when it's clear coated. It'll show its true beauty. I chose the light mint green stripes to go with it. Contrasting green colour. Some people aren't going to like it probably. I do. I think it looks pretty cool. The white Porsche logos as well. Very, very clean piece of resin. Very little clean if needed. Quick degrease, quick primer, Tamiya white primer. Seven, eight coats of the paint nuts paint with the UMP Apex. Uh, the decals, hobby design decals are great. So that's a current work in progress. You'll see part one of that up very, very soon. Purchases. Now, my camera's been playing up for a while. This is a brand new camera. It's the one you can see there. After chatting with people on the live stream, I did a GoFundMe and everyone persuaded me to do it within a day or so i had over a thousand pounds you're all crazy so we've invested that back into the hobby we've got a new tripod sd cards new camera um we redid the spray booth because that was falling to bits new light in there so that's much better we can see what we're doing rebuilt the shelf because that was attached to the spray booth falling to bits as well uh, so that's made life so much better greater quality videos this camera is wonderful the old cameras over there in the spray booth it's got two cameras while that works uh, but I also bought some kit I bought the F15 for Gary's build Nissan 300ZX 200 S200 two Subarus a Skyline uh, R32 Mitsubishi Evo 6 again uh, and a Corvette I also got a uh, Ford Thunderbird Dodge Viper and a Marto Escort look at that in white metal very cool uh, hopefully we'll build that at some point. Also got another BMW from BMAX, a Speed Champion Lego Kuntash, the two Bob's decals for the uh, F15, uh, some Mr. Surfacer. We've got this 16 scale AMT Chevrolet Corvette, which is really cool. Got that dirt cheap. Um, another new, new uh, E30 M3, because I've got so many decal schemes for these. I need more and more of the kits. Um, We've got a set of decals for the Audi Quattro, Peugeot 206, Subaru Impreza, Mitsubishi Evo 6, and some Frul tracks as well for this beautiful Tamiya Hellcat. I've got an AMT Duster. Dan Pedersen very kindly gave me this AMT uh, Plymouth GTX. The crazy rich blondin sent me over these die-cast uh, Hubley uh, kits, which are terrifying. I'm telling you, they're scary with a set of files. And Mr. Stewart RS uh, sent me some engines for uh, Escort Cosworth and a BMW M3. So thank you, Stuart, and thank you, Rich. That's a single Porsche. That's some, um, let me see, um, um, are they man filter? I think they are for the AMG GT3. We've got the paint for the Porsche as well. Stunning colour. So glad I chose this colour. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, and I bought a BBR Ferrari 550 Maranello 143rd kit. Full resin multimedia kit in 143rd. They are lovely kits. I've seen this for like £80 on eBay. I went direct to BBR in Italy and got it posted for £32. Absolute bargain. Probably will do a review of this at some point. Um, they're great little kits. If you've not built one, I recommend getting one. Uh, Paul ISM stickers at last. We've got them again from the proceeds of the GoFundMe. Thank you all very, very much. If you want one, drop me a message. All I'm charging is the postage. I got these lovely boxes from Dudley. Thank you, Dudley. Uh, with drop down fronts for putting the cars in once they're painted. So much easier to put a box over the top. Restock the pets, uh, pots, medicine cups, medicine cup lids, all very important sundries. Uh, a full stock up of Tamiya primers as well at a price I couldn't refuse. Thank you, Dudley, again. Um, and a stock up of Tamiya TS, clears, LP5s and what have you as well for future projects. Um, we also got a bench hoover. Can't beat it. Don't care what anybody says. They work absolutely brilliant. Honestly, get one. £7.60 off e uh, Amazon. Hannah very kindly bought me uh, a couple of Boba Fett figures, which are on my shelf and up there as well. Thank you, Hannah, for those. 
and uh, there we go that's everything i've bought most of that uh is i bought myself but some of it was the run over from the price of the camera because the camera was expensive but you lot are mad and i discussed is it okay to buy model and stuff of the rest you all said yes one bar person one person who turned into a complete arsehole told me i was uh what was it dishonest uh deceitful what have you because i was using the money for not where i intended but I did. I bought the camera and everything else, which came to over with the camera, the memory cards, the tripod. Uh, what else did I buy? I need the picture. I've got to cheat. Sorry. Give me a sec. So, yeah, we've got the camera. We've got the tripod. We've got three brand new uh, 120 gig memory cards, new lights. we got got um, cutting mats. So everything looks nice and clean on camera. We did the photo, uh, spray booth. We did the shelf. I mean, they're all part and parcel. The, the spray booth has fallen to bits uh, and that you know impacts on filming. I discussed on a live stream about is it okay to use the rest of the money to buy kits and that for future projects. Everybody said yes. And most of those people have donated. Yeah, so that's what I did. So that's what you're seeing here today. Most of it I've bought, but the rest of it is the overspill from the GoFundMe. So thank you everyone that took part in the GoFundMe. Absolute legends. Everyone support me on Patreon. Buy me a coffee, uh, PayPal donations you're all absolute legends seriously i can't tell you how grateful uh i am for all your support uh i never thought we'd hit over a thousand i think it's 1115 pounds in the end absolutely crazy mad people so thank you all very much i've invested it all back into this people are joking about taking an hour for meal nope every penny is accounted for every penny went back into this hobby for you and for me as well so i thank you all from the bottom of my heart Right, so a bit of unfortunate stuff now. Uh, not as unfortunate as Gary, but definitely unfortunate. So I built the F15 for Gary. And I kind of enjoyed the build, but I was glad it was over. And what it's done, it's kind of cemented in my brain for me where I knew four years ago, which is I just don't enjoy aircraft anymore. I really don't. I got this built. This is exactly the same as the McLaren for Luke Carr as well. I built it because it was for him. I probably wouldn't have finished it otherwise. Uh, this was for Gary. Very uh, poignant in my mind at the time. Uh, so I don't want to build aircraft anymore. I knew this four years ago. I've wasted well over a thousand pounds trying to build aircraft. I've bought loads of kits, started them, stopped. It just doesn't keep my interest. I love aircraft. They're beautiful. F-15s are stunning. P-51s. I love P-51s. But I'm just not enjoying modeling anymore. And I'm trying to do it for you. We've been here many times in the past. I need to build for me, not just for you. And that's kind of what I've been doing. So you're not going to see any more aircraft off me. I, <laughs> there's going to be people like, oh, no. I'm not going to finish the P-51. I am not. It's just not in it. I started it nearly a year ago. It's just not going to get done. It's been there. It's been under here for nearly a year. And I've been saying, yeah, I get back to it. I get back to it. I just don't think I'm going to. So, yes, I'm going to stick to cars, bikes. We're going to push through and do the Suzuki. I bought another bike today. I'll show that in the next bench update. Um, and armor. I want to build armor. I enjoyed the last few pieces of armor I did. Uh, I want to build the Hellcat soon, the M18. But aircraft are just not for me at all. So the, the Mustang will be going. It is up for sale. It's exactly how it was in part three of the video. So it's got the kit. Uh, it's got the belt that are already in it. It's got some resin wheels. It's got a mass set for the canopy. I've got three P51 books uh, all in. They cost me over £170 because the kit was £120. It's not a cheap kit, that one. And I did buy that myself. Um, so if anyone wants to buy it, I'm looking for £120 for it plus post. Uh, and it is where I was in par three, exactly to the point it was at the end of that video. I have made, offered it to somebody else. They're going to let me know if they want it or not. If not, next person that comes to me it is yours. £120, all in, sold. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm just not going to build it. There's no point. I'd rather sell it, put it into car kits, bike kits, armour that I am going to enjoy. And it's just aircraft I don't enjoy. The bike I've enjoyed working on. We're going to go back to the bike once the Porsche is uh, cleared, which should be tomorrow or tonight. Um, I can't do it. it. It affects my kind of mind uh and if i'm not enjoying it there's no point doing it and there's going to be people out there but oh no i'll be honest the viewing figures on the f15 videos have tanked it's it's uh 20 10 to 30 percent lower on the videos so 
they're not getting watched anyway. Um, so it kind of tells you something. I don't know. But it is what it is. So, yeah, no more playing videos for me. I do apologise, but I've got a bill for me. And me only. That's the way it is. Anyway, moving on. Uh, the like, daily live streams still going on every day by Saturdays. Obviously, we do Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, uh, Sunday mornings. And we do Wednesday evening, 7 p.m. And Friday evening at 7 p.m. So they're all pretty um, informal by Friday nights where we have our set stream. Uh, it's just modeling, chatting, what have you. So if you want to come on over, the links are all down below in the description. Uh, again, the viewing figures are down on those a little bit. People get bored of watching. Don't know, possibly. Uh, but I'm going to be there for the foreseeable future. Hopefully the viewing figures will improve a little bit. I guess a lot of people are back at work. The weather's improving and what have you. But it'd be nice to see more people there. We are getting regulars, which is good. Um, so that's on my poor ice. I'm going to have the bench page, not this one. So you can find the link to that in the description down below. Um, and that's it really, not much else to talk about, uh, let me have a think, we've got group builds ongoing, uh, they're over on the group build page, uh, the foos builds ended, uh, Alan's looking for pictures of those, so if you haven't put them up on the group build page, obviously we've got Gary's F15 build ongoing, doesn't have to be an F15, just anything you can do to commemorate him, um, and yeah, there's loads of builds coming, it's Le Mans one run at the minute, Le Mans GT cars, which is what we did Mercedes for, um and that's it really that's about all i've got to talk about today so uh yeah we can have a look at the fish tank if you want to it's a bit algae-ish on the front i'll do a quick video of it um i let it massively overgrow over the last month uh down to one thing or other i had a huge um trim the other day i let it go because i've got an algae problem on the hair grass at the bottom you'll see it at the very bottom so I switch all the lights off. I let everything grow to cut down the light. Um, and hopefully we can get rid of it. But it's there. A little bit of hair algae. So I think we get a little bit too much light. So need to fix that. We're also getting algae on the front glass. Which I've taken off about three times now. I'm just going to leave that until I've got rid of the algae. And then we can scrape it all off. Everyone's healthy in there. The fish are happy. Shrimp are happy. I've seen shrimplets in there again recently. So they're all happy as Larry in there. Uh, and as always, it's a nice thing to sit and stare at while away the minute while you're thinking or contemplating things or, you know, wait for something to dry. It's a nice thing to look at. So there we are. So that's it. So that's all I've got to talk about today, really. Quite a lot to get through, but we got through it quite quick, actually, to be honest. Um, so as always, uh, we'll be live tonight. It's Wednesday evening. Uh, it's Wednesday morning right now. I'm going to get the video uploaded. Part one of the poor should be up probably tomorrow, possibly. Uh, and then we get back to the Suzuki bike. I'm going to probably review that BBR Maranello at some point as well. And uh, keep up the live streams as usual. So that's it. So uh, thanks for watching today. As always, like to support the channel. There's a Patreon me, a PayPal me, link in a bar me, a coffee link in the description down below. Loads of links down there, including all my list of products, the other YouTube channel, uh, ISM Facebook page and forum, upretail.com. My Paul ISM daily live stream page, Paul ISM um, off air hangout group. We've got the Intercept Scale Modeler group build page as well. My own personal modeling page and my stash is linked down there as well. It's Scale Mates. So there we are. Questions for today? Oh, I don't know. If you had to think of a funny word, what would it be? And watch this. Say the first funny word that comes into your head. Uh, yeah, roof tiles. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. See you there, everyone. Take care. Bye bye.